In this problem, we're going to be looking at trying to find the determinant of a 3 by 3 matrix. Um, it's quite straightforward. If you look at a matrix like this, um, and everything here is positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative, positive. So there is all, there's no uh, positive next to a negative and no negative next to a positive. So as you can see, it's all staggered. Positive, negative, positive, negative. So if it was like a 10 by 10 matrix, it would just go on forever. Positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative, and so on. So now each number has this, uh, um, this um, um, acting on it. So even if, let's say, this was uh, a negative 2, then it's a negative, so it would turn into a 2. Um, you need to remember this for later on. Um, and... Um, the, 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 I'm going to treat this, this problem in steps. So the first thing you do is choose any row or column. So um, I'm going to choose uh, this row, 1, 2 and 3. So now what you're going to do is take, if you've chosen the number 1, it's going to be number 1, so I'm going to put a 1 here. And now because I know also to look at this, this little matrix and go, okay, it's positive, so it stays as 1. And I'll do a, a brackets. Now what you're going to do is essentially... You get some pens. You're going to cover this and this. So now, um, because I've chosen number one, it, you cover this row and you cover this row. So I'll now get seven six one minus four, like this. Seven six one minus four. And then the same way, I'm going to um, now go down one. And because I've chosen this this uh, column, and it's going to be two, but because I know by looking at this matrix, it turns into minus two, like this. So it's minus two, and then the same principle. You now cover this row, and then obviously I'm here going across here. So it's going to be four minus three, one minus four. Four minus three, one minus four. And then for the last one, it's going to be positive three because I'm looking at this and if I cover this and cover this my matrix is 4 minus 3 7 6 4 minus 3 7 6 now in a previous video I went over how to do a 2 by 2 matrix this aside. I went over how to do a 2 by 2 matrix um, now it, you need to know these the, the rules in that. 2 by 2 matrix is this multiplied by this minus this multiplied by this. So, um, if I did, um, if I start with um, simplifying this out, it's going to be 7 times 4, which is 28, well, minus 28, minus 6. Then minus 2, 4 times minus 4 is minus 16, minus... Um, Okay, so it's minus minus 3 times 1, so it's plus 3, plus 3, and then we have uh, 6 times 4, which is 24, minus 7 times 3, 21, plus 21. So um, now, now it's, uh, uh, it's pretty simple, it's pretty straightforward now. Now we're just looking at just uh, multiplying into the brackets. So you're going to get... Um, a minus 28 minus 6, which is going to be minus 34. Sorry, I had a little mind blank there. Um, and the minus 16 plus 3 is uh, minus 13 times 2. M times minus 2 is positive 26. And then m uh, 24 plus 21 is 45 times by 3, which is 135. I'm not wrong, um, and then you um, add this all up, so you do 135 plus 26, um, uh, minus 34 plus 26 plus 135, so um, you should get 4, 8, you'll get minus 8 plus 135, um, and then uh, the answer to this would simply be 127. So, the determinant of this matrix is 
127. Um, sometimes you might get zeros uh, in your matrix. I've purposely chosen a matrix without any zeros. If you have anything with a zero, if there was a zero here, always choose the column or line with the most amount of zeros. But this is the hardest it will ever get for a 3x3 matrix with everything full of numbers and no zeros.